Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of BD Alchemist tuning videos. Um, this episode is going to be about, well, I'm going to try to describe what open source tuning is on stock ECUs. I'm also going to use this as a reference. Every time I do a e-tune, um, I do have to go through this with my customers. And there's a misconception. A lot of people think that if you're using Cobb or um, HP Tuner or, you know, uh, ECU Flash, that it's it's an aftermarket. No, this is not an aftermarket ECU. It's basically using your stock ECU, uh, but it's represented in a way, the program basically presents it in a way where you can understand that the interface is basically um, tunable. That's all it basically does. So uh, let's get into it. Let me try to describe what I'm what I understand about it. If there's any pros out there, I'm not a coder. I am not a program writer. I just tune. And this is uh, my experience and knowledge. So let's start with ECU Flash. Um, so someone created this program uh, to basically take any kind of uh, HTML coding and present it in a, a visual uh, like this. So this is a stock, I'm sorry, not stock, but the SD map, a speed density map for EVO 8. Um, and so for example, the internal ID, I changed it to this number. This program will literally look at what the set definition is for uh, this ROM. So when I open the program and I hey, you know, open this up, it'll look into the internal ID and it's going to look for the definition for this ID in a set location. And in most cases, it is in C drive, program files, uh, open ECU, ECU flash, ROM data, and these are the programs that ECU Flash currently is uh, reading. We go to Mitsubishi, Evos, and these are all the different ROM uh, internal IDs that it can read. So if you look at um, what I've changed it to, uh, this is 94, I'm sorry, 9417B482. So. Let's go find that 9417 and you know because it's a letter in there, it's going to be, there you go, B487. If you look in this uh, XML file, uh, and I'm going to try to show you. You see the internal uh, ID is here. So once it, the program reads this file, it knows where all the addresses is. So um, it knows that, hey, this is the ROM ID that matches. I'm going to use this file and then include everything also in this uh, definition full file um, as well. <clears throat> and and I don't know much about coding, but you know, it reads like uh, it seems, you know, pretty, you know, self-explanatory, which is, uh, this is an SD map VE calibration. So let's go back to, uh, SD map VE calibration. So how does this program know how to represent these map KPA load KPAs, uh, and these numbers? Um, so that's where it tells it. So SD map, uh, speed density tuning and addresses. So, where in the actual ROM um, this lives, this uh, this can be found. So let me show you what a ROM looks like in, um, I guess, binary. Um, so you take this address, 32E8, and I'm going to try to show you you open up see where would it be do, 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 do. I, I I'm a mess on my uh, tuning files here base 
Please. Okay, there you go. Okay. <clears throat> so this is basically all how uh, the hex editor reads all the coding. Now, do you remember which? Um, I forgot what that was. Okay, so 32E8. So let's go to that address. Go to 32E8. And this is basically where um, I guess this 8 bit code is where this table lives in the actual ROM. So these these are the um, human interface from what you just saw. So if if I change it here, I know exactly what's happening. Uh, now this is set to one to one ratio. I can actually go to directly to um, this and change it, but I wouldn't know what the hell I'm doing. Um, so that's why that interface uh, is very, very important so we can understand it. And also, um, those of you who are looking for definitions and things like that, uh, if you look at the internal ID where it lives, it's F52. If I go to this here, this is the actual uh, ROM itself. Where is it? F52. You see, this is the actual ROM ID. Here's where you would change it. Here's where you would find other uh, ROM IDs, people who are trying to, I guess, lock the ECU or whatnot. This is how you would do it. Um, you find the corresponding XML. You see the ROM ID. You find what year the car is, and you basically change one of the existing XML to read this or find the one that you need. That is uh, ECU flash in a nutshell. But there are other forms of uh, stock ECU tuning. So the difference between ECU flash um, and say, uh, I don't know, uh, here, Cobb, I have Cobb open, is the interface. That's basically it. They Cobb uses the same ECU. They have the same thing for, say, EVOs, STIs, and all the other programs. It's just the interface is different. It's still taking the raw data from the ECU and presenting it in a way where we can understand. And, you know, given, yeah, this is amazing. It's smoother. I think the interface is way better than uh, ECU Flash. But ECU Flash is free. You um, get what you pay for. And this is controlled by Cobb. So whatever they think is necessary, they only put. ECU Flash is an open community. Anyone can add to it. So you usually get more robust um, tables and ROMs and it's always being developed. And especially on the Evo, uh, you know, thanks to Tefra, David Shirley and, and a whole bunch of other people there really developing this, the, the interface really well and adding tables on from the stock to discovering new things. Um, same thing with HP Tuner, the American guys, it's, it's the same thing. It's basically reading um, your ROMs and putting in an interface where you can understand, yes, this looks different and then, yeah, it's much superior than I would say a few other uh, ones that you saw. But this is basically what it is. Um, universally, I think Evos currently are more advanced on the ECU flash stock ECU or, or um, open source out of all the stock ECU tuning. Um, because of the community development that's been de um, dedicated to this. So um, I hope I help some people uh, understand a little bit better, but definitely I'm going to reference this video when I try to explain what I'm doing to people who I'm tuning uh, abroad. So thank you everybody for joining in. I will make another video on exactly how to uh, manipulate some of the stuff on ECU Flash. So stay tuned for that.